guys and welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this video so today it's day four of my nail miss where i'm posting a christmas video every day up until christmas and yeah we're already on day four christmas is coming up so quickly and i am super excited but anyway let's just get straight into the nails so here is the nail set that i'm going to be recreating today i was really feeling like some light blue wintry type of nails so that's what we're going to do so here's what you're going to need for this nail set we're just going to use a nude poly gel and a light blue poly gel and also some white and light blue gel polish so yeah that's pretty much all you're going to need so let's just get right into this nail set okay so here are my natural nails i don't need to do too much nail prep because i have been doing my nails back to back but what i am going to do if you can see i have like a little bit of product like stuck in the cuticle area so i am going to take this circular cuticle drill bit and i'm just going to work this around the cuticle area to get up all this product that's still like stuck on the nails Okay, so I feel like that helped. Now I'm going to take my fine grit sanding band and I'm going to file over the surface of the nails very gently. This is just to add a little bit of scratches and a little roughness to help the base coat stick. Okay, now I'm just going to add on a peel off base coat and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the peel off base coat on. Now I'm going to size out these nail tips. All right, so the nail tips are all sized out. Now I'm just going to glue them on with some base coat. Okay, so I glued on the nail tips. Now I'm going to trim them down. I think I wanna do these more on the medium long side. I guess that's good. I feel like this is a really nice length. I don't know. I just didn't really want to make them as long as I normally do. I just kind of want to do this set on a bit more of a medium type of length. Okay, so now that they are trimmed, I'm going to reshape the nail tips. All I'm doing is like filing away this little points on the side and then making sure that the tip of the nail is straight because these are already like really nicely shaped. So I don't really need to do too much. All right, so the nail tips are shaped a little bit. Now I'm going to take my fine grit sanding band and I'm going to remove the shine from all the nail tips. Alright, so I'm done with the nail tips. Now I'm just going to add a layer of base coat on to all the nails. Okay, so now we're going to get into this poly gel application. So I'm just going to be using this nude poly gel from McCart. So I'm going to be making the thumbnail, middle finger, and pinky nail full nails of this nude color. And then for the pointer finger and the ring finger, I'm going to make them French tips with the light blue poly gel as the tip of the nail. So I'm just going to start on the thumb. I want to do this nail in one bead. Let's do it. I've been really trying to work on making my nails thinner because I don't make them too thick. Like I like the thickness I normally make my nails, but I just noticed that I can make them thinner, not only to just like save product, but it can save time when like when I'm filing them. I'm not saying my nails were too thick. I like the thickness that they usually are, but it's just that I can make them thinner. So I've been trying to work on that. So I'm just thinking that maybe making these nails in one bead will help me make them a little thinner. So I hope you guys are enjoying my nail miss so far. I'm a little sad I didn't make it longer than a week. I really thought I was gonna be struggling to like make videos and get them edited in time, but I'm doing 
pretty good. I'm like a day ahead. So the day a video is supposed to go up, like I had it ready the day before. And it makes this a lot less stressful and I don't feel like I'm in such a rush. So like, I feel like I could have done a little bit longer of a nail miss. Do people normally do like vlogmas or something for the full month of December or they only do it up until Christmas? I'm not really sure of that. Maybe I could post like a few more videos in a row after Christmas. We'll see. I'm not making any promises. I am really enjoying posting a lot and, and being able to do all these nails. Like I'm really enjoying it. I'm definitely going to be doing some New Year's nails as well, I hope. I'm not really sure of any New Year's nail designs I should do because, you know, in the past I have done gold New Year's nails a couple times, so like I don't really want to do that again. If you have any ideas for New Year's nails, let me know. Okay, so I'm done with the thumbnail. Here's the thickness. I feel like I did pretty good at not making it super thick. Yeah, pretty happy with that. I'm gonna skip the pointer finger and ring finger because they are the French tip nails. And I'm just going to finish off the middle finger and the pinky nail of full nails of this nude poly gel. Once again, I'm going to be attempting to do them in one bead. Doing the nails in one bead also does save time because you don't have to worry about curing in between two layers. Yeah, I just feel like it's a little bit faster, but I still do like doing my nails in two beads because I just feel like, especially with longer nails, it just helps to make sure that the structure is good and it's easier to focus on one part of the nail at a time. Okay, so let me give you guys like a Christmas gift slash Christmas day update. So what I'm gonna be doing on Christmas, I'm hosting Christmas at my apartment, even though we've always like celebrated Christmas at my parents' house. I just really wanted to have Christmas at my apartment. So that's what we're gonna be doing. And if you don't know, I'm doing a pink themed Christmas. So my tree decoration is pink. I have other pink decorations and even like the gift wrap for the presents are pink. Okay, next nail is done. Let's cure this. All right, now on to the pinky nail. So yeah, I guess everyone enjoys the pink theme, I think, <laughs> at least. And then on Christmas day, I need to figure out like what food to make. Also, if you don't know, I am vegan, so I, I can't just eat like a traditional Christmas dinner. And also I'm not a good cook at all. I just am not good at it. Like, I don't know why. So we'll have to see what I do about that. And also my mom works on Christmas, which is pretty normal for us. So we normally like open gifts and everything in the afternoon when she gets back from work. So I'm going to do the Christmas live stream kind of in the early afternoon I think on Christmas because we're pretty much waiting for my mom to get home from work so I'm going to be hanging out with you guys for a little bit ever since I've been on YouTube I've always done a live stream on Christmas so it's kind of like a tradition now I have to do it okay so that was very fast I feel like I should have been doing nails in one bead for a while now like I just always resort to doing them in two beads just because I don't think about it but this was super quick to do these three nails already done. So we're gonna do the French tips now. And I'm going to put a bead at the cuticle area. I'm gonna start on the pointer finger. And let's get shaping this into like a long oval skinny shape. Anyway, I guess I'm done with my rambling about Christmas and what I have and what I'm planning and stuff. I am very excited. I also have to get wrapping my gifts. Hopefully, maybe at the end of this video, I'll wrap some gifts with you guys. I'm also posting these videos a little bit before Christmas. So, you know, I don't wanna give too much away of my gifts because I'm gonna tell my family not to watch that at least the end of the video that part but you never know they might get too curious but i'm not gonna wrap everything on camera just like little stuff that can fit on my desk here
Okay, so all the nude poly gel is on. Now I'm gonna go in with this light blue poly gel and I'm gonna use this at the tip of the French tip nails. Okay, so one thing I actually forgot to do was shape this nude part. I did forget to do it for this one, but this one looks okay, so it's fine. But I think I'm gonna shape this one. So I'm just gonna wipe off that stickiness from the poly gel. And then I'm gonna take my hand file and I'm just gonna shape it just to make sure it looks nice and crisp. Okay, so I just shaped this part a little bit. Now I'm going to use the light blue poly gel and I'm just gonna put this at the tip of the nail. Now I'm going to get smoothing this out. Okay, so all the poly gel is on now and here's how the nails are looking. I feel like I did a pretty good job at making them a little more thin. Maybe not the French tip nails, I don't know. But yeah, I feel like the nude nails, like they're nicely thin. So I just have my McCart dust collector and a hand file and I'm going to get reshaping these nails.
so here are how the nails are looking after they have been shaped so now we're going to get started on this nail art i also forgot to mention that for the nail art we're going to need some glitter and you can use acrylic or dip powder but i'm just using dip powder because that's what i have and this is just clear dip powder so i'm just going to take the light blue gel polish and the white gel polish and i want to make a gel polish color that matches this light blue this one doesn't really match I don't know actually if I add white to this, is it even going to match at all? So I think what I'm actually going to do is add some dark blue to the white. I feel like that will lighten it to this color rather than this. This is like a grayish blue. Okay, so I feel like this light blue is a better color. I wish I didn't pour this one out. Of the bottle but that's okay and it's not a perfect match to this blue but it's good enough so i guess we're gonna start with the sweater nail last time i did sweater nails it was not easy at all i'm a bit um nervous for this i'm gonna start with that middle pattern Okay, surprisingly, it wasn't too hard. Um, now I'm going to draw the stripes. So it's surprisingly going super well. So now I'm going to draw on the little side details. how it looks before the nail art starts to run around i'm going to put the clear dip powder over it this is going to give it that 3d effect and you want to make sure not to cure the gel polish before you put on the dip powder or acrylic whatever one you're going to use okay and now i'm going to cure this without touching it or wiping anything off okay this looks so good now i wish i could just do all the nails sweater nails because this is so cute. I was really like judging sweater nail art. I was really thinking it was gonna be hard because the last time I did it, it was pretty challenging. I did this super quickly. It only took me one try and I love it. It's so cute. Oh no. <gasps> oh no. I just remembered something. You're supposed to put like your top coat or matte top coat on before you do the nail art because you can't top coat this. I think I'm just going to file it off and redo it. And I just said I only did it in one try. It's all right though. I know how to do it at least. Let, let me file this off and we'll restart. Okay, I filed off the design unfortunately. And now I'm going to paint a layer of matte top coat on this nail and then redo the nail art. Here's how the sweater nail turned out. It looks really good still. Now I'm going to do the other French tip nail, which is going to have a snowflake on it and some other nail art. But I'm first going to add on some matte top coat before I do the nail art because this nail art is also going to have the dip powder poured over it.
Okay, so here's where I'm at with the nail art. I really love this. It's so cute. I did a different snowflake design for once. I really tried to recreate the inspiration nails. I just kind of referenced that picture to make this snowflake. And I feel like it turned out really cute. So now we're going to do the rest of the nails. So I guess we'll start on the middle finger. This one is going to be a French tip peppermint. So I'm also going to put the matte top coat on first and then do the nail art over it because the nail art is going to be sprinkled with with glitter. Okay, so we're starting off by doing a French tip outline with the light blue gel polish. And I'm just making sure that part matches up with the other French tips we already have. We want it to be like, you know, the same length of where the French tip starts, I guess. And I went ahead and cured the outline by itself because I knew that doing this peppermint swirl nail art, like I was probably gonna mess up. So I didn't wanna have to keep fixing the outline. So I cured that separately. And now we're starting on the peppermint nail art. So to me, it was looking good at this point. I thought it looked good. That's why I started going in and adding the glitter over it. But after I added on the glitter, it just didn't look right. Like it was too chunky. Like the center of the swirl was too thick. So I decided I did not like it and I had to restart. So I filed the whole nail down and I just restarted from the beginning. So I put on the French tip outline. And now what I'm doing instead is I'm going piece by piece for the swirl. I'm doing it in their own like separate triangles, I guess. I hope that makes sense. It just helped keep the center like really thin. And I think it looked much better. It looked way more crisp and precise. And then once I liked how it looked, I cured the blue gel polish and then I added some top coat over the nail art and sprinkled in the glitter into the top coat. So here's what it looked like before and here's what it looks like now. I think it looks much better. Like, like I said, it looks a lot more crisp. So now moving on to the pinky nail, this one is going to have a white French tip outline and then it's gonna have like icicles coming off of it. I wasn't too sure how to draw the icicles to be honest with you. I just had to do like trial and error because I know like what it was supposed to look like but I just didn't know how to get that. So what I did was I drew the individual icicles and then I kind of connected them. And then I went in and sprinkled over the glitter. Now onto the thumbnail. This one is going to also have a blue outline and I'm just making sure to clean up the line. Make sure that the line looks good. And now I'm doing a half snowflake coming off of the outline. So I started with like a big dot in the middle and then I kind of made the stems of the snowflake. I don't know what to call it, but yeah, the lines coming off of the dot. And then I added in the finer details. I was pretty excited to try some different snowflake designs because if you watched my last few videos, I've been doing like the same simple snowflake nail art, but I like it because it's so simple. So that's why I keep doing it. But this time I was able to try a snowflake like nail art that was a bit more complex, which I really liked. So once all the nail art's done, we're going to add on some cuticle oil. And here are how the nails turned out. Let me know what you guys think of this nail set in the comments. I really, really love these. Okay, I really want to like rank 
the nail sets I've done this week, but I just can't like I feel like they're all so good But this one honestly is like one of my favorite ones I've done this week I just love how everything turned out my favorite is probably the sweater nail or the snowflake nail like the ring finger because i really had a bad view on sweater nail art because i thought i couldn't do it because when i first tried doing sweater nail art a long time ago it just didn't turn out well i thought it was too hard but this time around i used like the proper tool to draw on the nail art and i feel like it looks so so good like i want to do like a dedicated sweater nail set <laughs> and i love the dip powder poured over some of the nail art i feel like it looks like velvet and i just love it it looks so good these nails are so cute and i really love the length of them i did them like a little bit shorter than what i normally do and i just love this length it's like a perfect long length but not super long either even though i love super long nails don't get me wrong but yeah i just really enjoy doing these nails so yeah this was day four of my nail mist where i'm posting a christmas nail set every day for a week up until christmas and this is day four some blue wintry christmas nails and i hope you guys have been enjoying all the videos this week so far also let me know if you would do these nails on yourself would you keep them the color blue or would you do them in a different color i feel like pink would be a really cute color for this nail design or even purple you can do a lot of colors with this nail set let me know which one you would do and also let me know which of these individual nails is your favorite like i said before i think mine is the sweater nail but christmas is coming up so soon i think by the time you're watching this video it's only like what three days until christmas which is so crazy time is going by so fast But yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you stay tuned for tomorrow's video. But yeah, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Happy holidays!